students for three decades is closing its doors. Grace Christian School will not reopen next school year. News on 6 education reporter Ashley Sims talked to some folks who say this is a huge loss for the community. Running her family's restaurant in Broken Arrow, Terry Kidd knows times are tough, but it's her church family that's really fallen on hard times. It's hard on us. There's been a lot of crying. Grace Christian School is saying thanks and goodbye after three decades. The school has been there, I think they said 32 years, and um, so I was surprised. The private school has been gradually shrinking, losing 100 students from 2008 to 2009, which forced its high school to shut down last May. So we lost our high school last year, and that, that was a surprise, but, um, to, but we had a huge enrollment in the elementary, so we really felt secure in the elementary middle school. But, but the younger grades also took a hit this year. A letter on the school's website says parents, teachers, and the church congregation have been working for weeks to raise money and boost enrollment. Kids restaurant Shiloh's tried to help out, pledging a 10% donation for every customer that mentioned Grace Christian School. But the school's website says the student body was still so small that it would be financially detrimental to the church. It's really sad and I'm not really okay with it. So, you know, all those teachers lost their jobs and we had lots of teachers. So it's not really good. So it's been very sad. It's very sad for our teachers. Some of them have been there 20, uh, 25 years. Terry says she's searching for a new school for her daughter, but she's still going to continue to pray for the return of her old one. Yeah, well, there's always hope. There's always hope for our economy, for everything. Terry Kidd says Grace Christian School isn't the only one on financial staky ground. Private schools all over the country have seen enrollments drop because parents can't afford those tuition bills in this economy. Ashley Sims, the News on 6 tonight.